Welcome back. If you've just joined us, we've been looking at the security situation in the Lagos and Ogu State Police Zonal Command. And our guest on this episode of Question Time is the AIG Zone 2, Abdul Majid Ali. Join us again. Now, let's quickly move into politics. The police have a clear mandate of preventing electoral violence. Are you coming up with any new strategy to prevent such occurrence? Yes. Yes, definitely. Because it has, uh, if you, you know, it, it baffles me when you see some less developed country, you know, conducting election in a peaceful atmosphere. It's, it baffles me when you see the country that are not up to Nigeria, the, you know, in an uh, area of civilization, development, tell expert, conduct election without police or army coming out with their uh, rolling armor tanks, protecting the electoral, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, materials with their guns, with their tanks. But I think what should be done that we should hammer up more on the candidates. The candidate in the sense that the candidates who have been actually been hammered on, particularly with reform, which should be had on the electoral violence. Reform that will be had on electoral violence. Reform that will be had on, 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 on the rigging of election, snatching of ballot boxes, stuffing of ballot papers, then Nigeria will take it very seriously. We should have developed beyond where this violence will occur. Once you know that if you, your supporters commit, automatically you will be disqualified. Once you know that if you are arrested, you face the law and you'll be jailed. In fact, if electoral offense has been taken as an issue of like robbery and kidnapping, you see people will stay off. People will definitely stay off. We don't need police to protect and uh, coming, in, coming in with 20,000 policemen for an election in a, in a particular area. People should protect and defend their vote, particularly watching it. Some, some countries you don't even know that the election is going on. They just walk in and vote and go away. But the judge that we will be there with, with daggers, with everything. One country is going on, some groups come and snatch the box and go away. We should be hard on them. Treat them as robbers. Treat them as kidnappers. Treat candidate yourself. If candidate is not ready to talk to his supporters, then the candidate should be disqualified. How did how did British got to deal with uh, with uh, with uh, football hooliganism? You know, initially, if you go to British Stadium, you see wire gauge being protected and all that because of the supporters were very very violent. Once a team uh, they, they are playing, they were violent and all this. But they are able to check this through a strong legislation, and that once a team supporters misbehave, then the team will be banned, the point will be reduced, or completely change venue. If such thing is being applied in Nigeria, where once a candidate supporters are misbehaving, they won, if they continue, then the, the, the candidate will be banned. And you see people, the supporters will damn, which check meeting themselves not to go into all these uh, uh, nefarious activities. What's the collaboration of the Nigerian police with other security agencies? Oh, very, very cordial. Very cordial. We've been working together for, for a very long period. We have no alternative that to work with them. We have no alternative. And it works. It, it assists. The recent uh, uh, Arepo and Ikorodu, you know, joint operation is, is, is a point in, 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 to, to, the, to people to see. And we continue to work. I was in uh, Imo. We worked closely with them. I was a uh, good state, the same thing, and uh, being the chairman of the security group, we call ourselves a meeting, we discuss the issues, and we talk of way forward. And it has been assisting drastically in reducing the, the crime. The, the present, uh, the raid on the, on, the, on the Ecuador access have drastically reduced the crime in Lagos and Ogo State. Could you tell us your vision for the Lagos and Ogo State Zonal Command? Well, uh, First of all, I need to express my gratitude and thanks to the Inspector General of Police for finding me worthy to be posted to, to, to Zone 2. Zone 2 has been one of the most you know, uh, uh, complicated and, uh, 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 zone in the Federation. And if you talk of uh, Zone 2, you talk of Abuja, again, being the, the, the Zone 7. The Inspector General Police has its own creed, which we call the creed, respect to human rights, respect to uh, uh, obedience to law and order, you know, policing with integrity, you know, with passion, 
and professionalism, ensuring that Nigeria is safe, and that is the vision of the Inspector General of Police. And that will be my vision. My vision is to improve on what the Inspector General of Police has given. The creeds in which Inspector General have laid out for the General Police. And it is my intention, it is my idea, that I want to be done to see that by coming to Zone 2, it's not for, I've been telling you, it's not to see the flyover or see the beautiful area or development being carried, the mental aspect being carried by the governor, but to improve in security of life and property of the two of the zone and ensuring that the people of the state sleep with their two eyes closed. And ensuring that police leave. AIG Zone 2, Abdul Majid Ali, thank you so much for making our time to be part of this episode of Question Time. Thank you very much indeed. And that's it on this episode of Question Time. You may also send us your comments on our various social media platforms showing on your screen. Join us next week on another exciting episode of the show on Channels Television. Many thanks for watching. I'm Benga Ashiru. Bye for now.